The Knicks bench was great all night, especially Wall in the first half, scoring 34 of the Knicks' 50 first half points. And how about Obi Toppin scoring five? Very, very electric here in his sequence in the first half. Oh, he was spectacular in his debut in the playoffs. I mean, his energy was electric. The crowd was crazy. The pick and roll, freeze it there. Here's Obi Toppin. This is his game. Get him the rock in these positions. He will posterize people, especially in this play. Clint Capella, go ahead and run it. Here he gets an advantage off the pick and roll. He's a great athlete. Freeze it there. Woo, look at that. See you later. Obi flying. It's, it's remnants of John Starks dunking over Michael Jordan and company. Get the posters out, ladies and gentlemen. That is a phenomenal finish. And Obi showing the emotion, getting the crowd pumped up. I'm telling you, man, there's nothing like what your body feels like in an NBA playoff game when 15,000 screaming fans are just electric. These guys got to taste of it. They're going to get more of it, and they're going to love it. Obi also had a three. Meantime, Wally, R.J. Barrett tonight, 14 points, and nine came in the third quarter. Yeah, and you think that dunk was nasty in a poster? Well, wait until you see this one. Starts with the defense by the Knicks. Trey Young misses that. And great outlet pass by uh, Derrick Rose. Gets it out. Now freeze it right there. Okay, here's Bogdan, Boy, uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich. He's sizing up R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett has the lane. Bogdanovich is going to block his shot. The problem is... R.J. Barrett is lefty, so it's a little awkward for Bogdanovich to kind of time a lefty's dunk, jump and dunk. So here he goes. Look, he's going. He's going to challenge him. Oh, I don't think he can ha He can't hang with R.J., though. And R.J. absolutely just obliterates him. Dunks <laughs> flat out right on his head. Should have made a business decision if you're Bogdanovich. No, no. I respect Bogdanovich. Yeah. You got to try to block the shot. You got to you got to be a man and go up and try to try to handle it. But he couldn't handle it. And big time play by R.J. Barrett. So Barrett, the 14 points, also had 11 rebounds. We've talked about Alec Burks. He had the great, great fourth quarter with 18 of his 27. Oh, it was phenomenal, and it was great ball movement, especially by Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose was was flawless in that fourth quarter too, just orchestrating the offense, hit the big shot to tie the game, freeze it there. Get the ball in the middle to Taj Gibson. Here's Alec Burks over here in the corner hanging out. But notice Derrick Rose started the play by making the good hockey assist. Got the ball to the middle of the floor, breaks down the defense on the help, and there's Alec Burks wide open in the corner. This is great execution, started by Derrick Rose, doing a good job of breaking down the defense off the pick and roll action. Big time shot, 18 points in the fourth quarter. I think Alec Burks can continue to do this in the series. I think he could be a huge X factor off the bench. Tom Thibodeau loves his scoring ability, and he doesn't have a weakness to his game. He can defend, he can run the pick and roll, he can assist, he can shoot, he can drive. He can do everything out there on the floor. He's a guy that's going to have to continue to play at a high level for the Knicks this series if they want to win it.